Yo, what's going on guys? It's Kojimo here back with another video. Today, I am going to show you how to generate your own config inside of Counter-Strike 2. I'm going to give you my own config and just give you some solutions to any problems you might be having because having a great config is vital to improving and being comfortable inside of the game. Before we get into that though, I do have to give you a message about Counter-Strike 2 skins because we all love them. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Skins Monkey. They are one of the greatest and easiest to use CS2 trading sites out there. You can swap out the skins you do not like for brand new ones that are so much more fresh. Even skins that are trade locked can be secured by adding them to your backpack. The greatest thing about the site is that you can buy skins for so much cheaper with a 35% deposit bonus when you use my code, Kojo. Make sure to check out the freebie section where you can get a free skin just by completing tasks. On top of the bonuses, you also get a $5 bonus when clicking the link in the description. All right, so the workshop map I want to show you today is going to be called Config Generator, and I'm going to link this down in the description of the video. You need to subscribe to the map. Don't worry, it's totally free. You just got to click a button um, and it'll add it to your little workshop area here. You press play, go to workshop, and it's going to pop up here. Um, now, what I want you to do is obviously just launch it and we'll get in here. And the great thing about this map is it's going to make life so easy for you. Um, it's going to have a lot of options in here. And a lot of the stuff that it doesn't have, I'm just going to have my config uh, in the description of this video so that you can download it or copy and paste the values under your own and under th understand things a bit better. But for those of you out there that don't know what you're doing with Counter-Strike and don't know how to mess with the files and do all that kind of stuff, I would genuinely recommend just using this map and you know getting your config as uh, good as you would like it. So the first thing we're going to look at here is the HUD. There's so many cool options here. You can change the color of your HUD to whatever you want whatever color your eyes like the best for me i prefer green to be honest i really love green um really sick to me you can also mess with the scale here which is just gonna you know change like how big things appear um if you look down below you can see that uh and you know you can mess with these values i don't want to get too much into this but uh for me guys uh this setting right here team has numbers I don't like having it on because when I'm playing in games and people have profile pictures, it, it makes it so I don't have to press tab and I know who it is, right? So if I see that guy with the, the space profile picture, I'm like, oh, okay, okay, that, that guy's the B player. If I see the, the guy with the anime waifu kissing each other profile picture, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's the guy going 0 and 12 and we can run at him, right? So um, it's good to have the non-team numbers on, in my opinion. Turn uh, friendly fire off. You don't need that. Uh, show target ID can have that on that's fine and then team color i like that so i have that on and mess with brightness but really cool change your head up a, a lot um you can't see because i have my face cam up but you can mess with your radar settings here too uh very easy to understand and do that and a lot of this stuff guys counter strikes made it easy and you can come into settings and mess with it too but for those of you that want something very new friendly this is like perfect um what i like is you can also change your crosshair in here and it gives you like very good values and again you can change it in your console as well right? we can type in c underscore crosshair and change all of these values right so like we can do like size um which is right here like the style all these things but yeah you just shoot it and click it like if i want to change the color boom now our color change change it back whatever we want right very simple very easy and you can even test it out on bots here which is so sick right um so yeah i just got on so my aim is awful but um another very useful thing is your view model i'm not going to mess with it but um if you're curious on the view model settings again it's very simple uh i'd recommend learning this stuff so like view model all you gotta do and then you have all these so fov offset yz and that's just gonna change like the position of like where where things are right so um shoot around on that mess around with that the most important part of this though guys is this recommended tab and this bind tab right so um not necessarily the toggle crosshair color that's not very important to me that's just whatever but the grenade crosshair where you can pull up this is so useful and um all you got to do is uh get in here and set bind the only bad thing about this map is that it only allows you to use these certain keys and like i don't want my keys on these so if you're new to this maybe do that but it is kind of a headache for that um and then you can also like set your crosshair size in here because it's really important when you like go back and forth but it's just useful when you're throwing nades around the map i can't show um for lineups and stuff it's like the old school grenade line and then also this radar 
uh, zoom is actually useless now. Toggle radar zoom is right here, so you can just bind that to a key. Don't worry about this, but uh, you know, grenade crosshair can be kind of useful even though they tried to use it. Um, a recommended page, don't necessarily use the crosshair. If you're using the default crosshair in game, definitely change it up. Um, but apply the radar, uh, go to audio like that, and then for the music. Now the coolest part about this map though is the config generator, right? You can choose your favorite pros and play on the config that they're on. Look at all of these sexy beasts that we can choose from, right? Lots of cool people. Say, you know, say I'm American, right? And I want an American gun. I can headshot a liege, bro. I can... This is kind of morbid, I'm not gonna lie, but you can choose his config and it's gonna load it for you. And uh, you can use like his sensitivity, his mouse settings and stuff, or just the HUD or vice versa. It's very useful, um, but very cool. Also, you have community people in here. I wish we were in here, bro. I mean, yo, we gotta we gotta add the map maker and get myself in here, but I don't think that's gonna be possible. But you have like Stewie 2K, Adran, Summit, Oni, like some of the old school guys in here. It looks like. Um, which is really cool and then you can also change the language so i know i got a lot of european viewers so that's actually really cool um and then you can also restore your config if things go wrong but overall just a very useful map and something that like genuinely has helped me out in the past and if your config's ever messed up if things aren't going well like this is great right um yeah so hey if you guys want to help me out though subscribe to this channel leave a comment down below i'm trying to grow this channel as much as i can and provide little useful things like this because i know that um like these kind of things are obvious to most of us but even like me my config got messed up a week ago and i had to use this map to you know help me out and like to fix some of the bad settings that weren't reverting and stuff so these type of maps can be a lifesaver um they're not just useful for new players and yeah you can use it as you wish but thank you guys so much for watching this video uh check out the videos on your screen right now Ch catch me streaming live every single weekday i play top level face of pugs and yeah, appreciate every single one of you. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Peace out.